Hello children, today in this video we are going to start with our new chapter, chapter 10, linear equation. Before starting this chapter children, first of all introduction, what is linear equation or what is linear equation in one variable. So uh, before that equation, what is equation? A statement of equality of two algebraic expressions which involves one or more literals. So these are the two algebraic expressions in which one is variable and it is equals to something. So this is the equation. Now linear equation in one variable. Variable means x, y, z, a, b. Anything can be a variable. One variable means like this in this equation only x is there. So this is only one variable is there. So linear equation in one variable. And y minus 7 is equals to 11. Again only one variable is there which is y. So this is the linear equation in one variable. Now what is linear equation children? Linear equation is an equation in which the highest power is 1. Highest power is 1. Here power of x is what? Nothing is there so 1 is the power. Power of y is 1. Now how to solve these equations? This we will do in exercise 10.1. But the method which we are going to use is solving the linear equation using transposition. Transposition means to change their positions. We have to change their positions to calculate the value of the variable. So children, these things you have to understand. What are they? We simply change its sign and carry it to the another side of the equation. Whenever we are transposing the term, we always change its sign and carry it to the another side of the equation. Positive sign of the term changes to negative. Whenever we are shifting, like suppose children, x plus 4 is equals to 5 is there. Whenever we will shift this 4 towards another side, this positive sign will change to positive sign will change to negative. And other side, when we will shift it to other side and vice versa. Vice versa means if suppose it is negative sign, negative sign will change to positive. Multiply sign of the factor changes to divide sign of the other side. And vice versa means if it is 4 into x, 4 into x is equals to 8. Here multiply is there na. So 4 is being multiplied. When I will shift it towards that side, it will be 8 divided by 4. Here divide will come. Now simplify LHS such that it contains one term only. Now we have to simplify this term and we will get the value of the variable. So this will be clear to you when we will solve the questions. So come to the 10.1 exercise children. In this first question is convert the following statement into equations. 5 added to a number is equal to 9. So 5 let the number be x. 5 plus x is equals to 9. Second part 3 subtracted from a number is equals to 12. 3 subtracted from a number means x minus 3 is equals to 9. 5 times a number decreased by 2 is equals to 4. 5 times a number decreased by 2. Decreased means minus 2 is equals to 4. 2 times the sum of the number x and 7 is equals to 13. 2 times sum of a number x and 7. x plus 7 bracket 2. 2 times means 2 and 2. It is equals to how much? 13. So this equations only we have to form. Question number 2, solve each of the following. Now here children, x plus 3 is equal to 4. We have to calculate the value of x from here. So x, here 4 will remain as it is because here plus 3 is there. When you will shift, it will be minus 3. So 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Second, x plus 5 is equal to 9. Shift this 5 towards there. Plus 5 is there. Minus will be there. When I will shift, minus will come. So 9 minus 5 x is equals to 9 minus 5 is equals to 4. Next, x plus 4 is equals to minus 3. Shift this 4 towards that side, you will get minus 3 minus 4. So, x is equals to minus 7. Fourth part, x plus 3.5 is equal to 6.4. Shift this 3.5 towards that side, 6.4 minus 3.5. So, x is equals to 2.9 when you will subtract them. y plus 2.7 is equals to 1.8. So 1.8 and minus 2.7. Y is equal to minus 0.9. 6, point, uh, 6 part Y plus 7.2 is equals to minus 
so y is equals to shift this 7.2 towards that side minus 1.8 minus 7.2 when you will add them minus minus plus is there so add them you will get 9.0 and sine of bigger one will come which is minus seventh part a plus 33 1 by 2 is equals to 9 by 2 convert this mixed fraction into improper a plus 67 by 2 is equal to 9 by 2 now shift this fraction towards that side a is equals to 9 by 2 minus 67 by 2 so take the lcm to 9 minus 67 a is equals to when you will subtract it 58 by 2 cancel it you will get minus 29 because 9 minus 67 is minus 58 so the value of a is minus 29 a plus 5 3 by 4 is equals to minus 4 1 by 2 convert all these mixed fraction into improper fraction a plus 23 by 4 is equals to minus 9 by 2 so a is equals to minus 9 by 2 minus 23 by 4 take the lcm you will get minus 18 minus 23 and here a is equals to minus 41 by 4 convert this into mixed fraction a is equals to minus 10 1 by 4 next children question number 3 solve each of the following first is x minus 3 is equals to 4 again the same thing shift this minus 3 towards that side it will be x is equals to 4 plus 3 which is x is equals to 7 second x minus 2 is equal to 6 x is equal to 6 plus 2 which is x is equals to 8 x minus 5 is equals to minus 2 so x is equals to when you will shift 5 towards this side 5 minus 2 which is equals to 3 x minus 8 is equals to minus 1 so x is equal to minus 1 plus 8 x is equals to 7 y minus 2.6 is equal to 4.5 so shift this 2.6 towards that side 4.5 plus 2.6 which is equal to 7.1 sixth part y minus 1.8 is equal to minus 3.6 it is y is equal to minus 3.6 plus 1.8 which is minus 1.8 will come next children a minus 4 1 by 3 is equal to 3 convert this mixed fraction into improper a minus 13 by 3 is equal to 3 so a is equal to 13 by 3 plus 3 take the lcm 13 plus 9 by 3 will come so a is equal to 22 by 3 or convert this improper fraction into mixed fraction a is equal to 7 1 by 3 a minus 2 3 by 5 is equal to minus 1 1 by 5 so a minus 13 by 5 is equal to minus 6 by 5 a is equal to minus 6 by 5 plus 13 by 5 subtract them 13 minus 6 is equal to 7 by 5 convert this into mixed fraction 1 2 by 5 value of a will be 1 2 by 5 next children question number 4 solve the following earlier we have done of plus and minus now it will be of multiplication and division so 2x is equal to 6 because 2 is being multiplied over here when you will shift 2 here it will be divided 6 by 2 which is equal to 3 3x is equal to 18. x is equal to 18 by 3. Cancel it. 6. 7x is equal to 1.4. First of all, remove this decimal. You will get 14 by 10. So, the value of x will be 14 by 10 into 7. This 7 will also be shifted down. So, into 7. The answer will be 1 by 5 or 0 0.2. So, 0.5x is equal to minus 2.5 minus 2.5 divided by 0.5 remove the decimal when i will remove this decimal 10 will come when i will remove this decimal 10 will come 10 and 10 cancel 5 ones are 5 5 fives so answer will be minus 5 3x is equal to 0.9 x is equal to 0.9 by 3 or you can remove the decimal also you will get 0.3 as answer 1.3y is equal to 0 0.39 so 0 0.39 upon 1.3 remove their decimals you will get 39 by 13 into 10 so 13 ones are 13 3 is a 3 by 10 is the answer 0 0.3 2m is equals to 8 so m is equal to 8 by 2 which is equals to 4 last question of this exercise solve each of the following x by 3 is equal to 2 so x is equals to 2 into 3 which is equal to 6 
x by 5 is equal to 0 0.7, x is equal to 5 into 0 0.7, when you will multiply you will get 3.5. Third part, x by 5 is equal to minus 4. So x is equal to minus 4 into 5 which is equals to minus 20. Fourth part, y by 2 is equal to 2.3 and y is equal to 2 into 2.3 which is equal to 4.6. Fifth part children, y divided by 2.5 is equal to minus 3 because here it is being divided. Here we will multiply it. Minus 3 into 2.5. So y is equal to minus 7.2. Sixth part, m by 3 is equal to 6 by 5. m is equal to 6 by 5 and 3 is being multiplied over here. So into 3. 18 by 5, m is equal to 18 by 5. You can convert this into Decimal also or otherwise this is the answer. m by 5 is equal to minus 7 by 8. m is equal to minus 7 by 8 into 5. So 7 into 5 is equal to minus 35 by 8. This is the answer. So children do this exercise also in your notebook. Thank you children.